Chester, that was my first thought. Chester, he's flaming hot. He cool, he's sexy as hell. <laughs> but Tony the Tiger, he fuels the breakfast of champions. Chester Cheetah, he just fuels Latinas and heartburn. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Shit, <that> motherfucker. <laughs> God came to me in a dream the other day. Mm -hmm. Right after I got done praying for some hair. <laughs> he came to me in a dream, and he wanted me to tell y'all that y'all need to stop worrying about abortions. Welcome to the show, y'all. <laughs> hell yeah, hell yeah. I'm telling you why you shouldn't worry about abortions. <laughs> so yeah, God came to me, and he's like, tell them to stop worrying about abortions. Why? Because what's the whole point of Christianity? God killed his one and only son at 33, and we out here counting weeks of fetuses. Fuck them kids. Some of y'all a little timid in the back. So I'll say it again. Fuck them kids. Yeah, yeet them babies back in the river like, like Texas Border Patrol. Don't, don't groan. Vote better, goddamn. Do, do a better job at the polls. I'm just a comedian, goddamn. Matter of fact, this is what I think we should do. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just over here telling jokes, goddamn. But no. Nah. Have your parents ever told you, I brought you in this world, and I'll take you out? <laughs> Wouldn't it be cool if you could cash in on that shit? <laughs> I'm, I'm 26 and I hate it here. Jesus died, I'm 33. I'm not doing seven more years of this shit. I'm ready to go now. Speaking of abortions, there's a celebrity I think should have been aborted. And that's Kim Kardashian. Oh, 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 oh. Let me explain, let me explain. Let me explain. We all seen a sex tape. We, and we, we ain't got to admit it. But that's a sorry ass sex tape. That is not, that is not a billion dollar sex tape. It's a couple of y'all in here right now that suck better dick and ain't no one. I told that joke at a gay bar, and this dude in the crowd goes, guilty. <laughs> yeah, but no, the thing that pisses me off the most 
knows is that years later, she's in an interview and they're like, Kim, what advice do you have to give to women to make more money? <laughs> and she goes, I think women need to stop being lazy and get off their backs. Yeah. And I'm like, what kind of bullshit ass advice is that? Get yeah. off their backs and get on their knees? <laughs> <laughs> I was offended for women. Because women have way more talent than posting their clown holes on the internet. <laughs> honka honka. <laughs> yeah, I was offended because women have way more talent than sucking dick. Like making sandwiches. Yeah, but no. There's this TikTok trend that's going around, and it's normalized breastfeeding. And I just want to figure out, as a society, when did we get together and shame women for feeding a hungry child? Never. That shit ain't never happened. I mean, there's a couple of them weird ass dudes out there, right? But the trend is normalized breastfeeding. Stop sexualized women feeding their children. But the thing that pisses me off is that women will post a video like this. <laughs> to my OnlyFans. <laughs> I thought we weren't making this sexual. That's like, that's like me starting to turn normalized morning wood. Ain't nothing sexual about morning wood. I didn't ask for this. I wasn't thinking about some sexual. I just woke up with this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't special, but I like trains. <laughs> yeah, yeah, chug a chug a yeah. I don't know if y'all heard, but Superman came out as bisexual in 2021. A lot of people got a problem with it. Personally, I find it kind of cool. Because if Superman thinks you're cute, sir, who gonna stop Superman from fecal jousting your booty? <laughs> I don't even keep condoms. You don't know how to take it like a man. <laughs> take it like a man. But no, I think she's like the whole Justice League gay though. Like every superhero, every superhero gets a, gets a letter. Fuck it. You know what I'm saying? Superman got the B. Batman and Robin, they can get the G. We already know them niggas gay. <laughs> the Green Lantern, he can be the Rainbow Lantern. We can get that nigga the Q. <laughs> Wonder Woman, it's in her name. You can give her two names. The L and the T. You wondering if she's a woman, goddammit. <laughs> um, Obama was our first black president. Woo! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but hear me out on this. <laughs> <laughs> Donald Trump, five kids, three baby mamas. <laughs> have been kicked out of government housing. <laughs> got a RICO charge. <laughs> and he freed Kodak Black. <laughs> I don't know about y'all, but that sounds like some nigga shit to me. <laughs> he really brings a whole new meaning to orange is the new black, I tell you. <laughs> Just throw the whole show away. Just give me Donald Trump, Crazy Eyes in Pennsylvania. <laughs> I watched that shit for 10 seasons, I swear to God. <laughs> Hell yeah, I'm gonna end on this one with my joke. Halloween's coming up. I know, because I see the decorations on Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> but as a black dude, there's one thing I steer clear of, and that's haunted houses. Because I mean, why is a black dude 
when I pay money to a white man to scare me and chase me. <laughs> when I can just wear a hoodie around the police and be scared for free. <laughs> Hell yeah, y'all, good job.